Dynamos, I am so glad you're here. Today's video is going to be how I aesthetically edit my YouTube thumbnails. This is going to be a super helpful and really fun video for you if you are a YouTuber and you want to up your thumbnail game and make it a little groovier. I hope that you'll follow me on Instagram and TikTok, connect with me on all the platforms because I love my Dynamos and our funky brush Dynamo community. Literally makes me excited to get out of bed every morning because I know that I can make fun content for you guys that hopefully uplifts and inspires you to be the best version of yourself because we're only on the earth one time and we gonna live it up, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's jump right into this video. A little context for you, I currently film all of my YouTube videos on my trusty old iPhone X. I also edit all of my YouTube videos on Adobe Premiere Pro if you need a recommendation for a editing software. It was a little hard to learn at first, but once I've learned it, like I'm able to do a lot of fun stuff with it and I love it. So yeah, let's jump right in. Whenever I'm picking a thumbnail, I will just screenshot it out of the video. So like I'll pose for a couple seconds, like, <laughs> and then I'll screenshot that and that'll be like my thumbnail. I don't know if that's how like the fancy YouTubers do it, but that's how I do it. So yay. Um, the three apps, my holy trinity of aesthetic YouTube thumbnails, apps that I use are PixArt for fun stickers and design elements, Lightroom for applying my preset because this allows all of my thumbnails on my YouTube channel to have a cohesive look and I love that so much. It lines up with my Instagram feed and I love that and Fonto and I use Fonto for the text that is displayed on my thumbnail. If you have not already, I recommend you watch part two of this two part series, um, how I edit my Instagram photos. That is probably a great guide to what I'm about to show you here and helps you too because if you're doing YouTube you're probably gonna want to get to Instagram so they're both connected so you should watch that one too um, and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos enough of me blabbing let me show you how I edit my thumbnails listen I am NOT a YouTube expert at all I just have found making videos to be so much fun and it's such a fun creative outlet for me and I love doing it so that's why I do it, but I am by no means an expert, but I do know um, your thumbnail should like represent your video really well so that when people are like viewing videos, they like want to click on yours because it looks really cool. That's why I take pride in making my thumbnails very aesthetically pleasing because I know that is a big drive on social media. We have this video that I obviously, video, picture, that I obviously screenshotted off of my video, so I'm going to go to tools and crop it to be the YouTube thumbnail size, which Pixar already has in the app, which is so helpful. So I'm gonna go to YouTube, apply, and then I'm gonna go to stickers. So this thumbnail is for a thrift vlog that by the time you're seeing this video, this is, thrift vlog is already up on my channel, so you should go watch it after this video. It's a fun one. I'm trying to think of what I want the thumbnail to say because typically what I want it to say will depend on the design elements and where I place things because I'll put the text like, you know, above my head or something. I think we can add a few fun design elements. Maybe we could add like some wavy lines. I said this in my Instagram editing video, but wavy lines are a great filler to use in photos. It makes them automatically way more groovy and it looks really colorful and adds a lot of pizzazz. Um, as you can see here, I went to my recent folder and I'm just like scrolling through and getting some ideas. These are um, stickers I've already used previously or tried out in some photos and I love that PixArt will save it for you. So yeah, oh, these, wait a minute, these are fun. What if we, hold up guys, what if we did some like smiley face action? And, but I don't want them to cover my face, so let's try this. So I press background with the arrow. Oh, that is cute. I love that, but also like I'm gonna have text and I don't want it to cover up my text. So maybe we'll just do like one smiley face. Maybe we'll do that, so discard changes, delete. Let's go here. I think I've saved a vintage smiley face before because I definitely use them a lot. There she is. Okay, so let's do this one maybe like here perhaps. That'll be fun, right? Oh, wait. I didn't mean to make her thinner. All right, so, oh wait, down here is a little bit better. So it's really just a big trial and error game. Yeah, I love that. So we'll put that there. So the next app that I use after PixArt is Lightroom. So I'm just gonna apply this sticker on here, save it. Like I said, I love that PixArt already gives you the YouTube option. Um, and I'm gonna go into Lightroom. 
and click on oh there it is okay now i have a lot of photos um all right so now we're gonna go to my preset here is some great news for you if you love my preset it's very it is a very warm hippie vibe i use it on all my instagram photos and all my thumbnails if you want to purchase it you can get it for ten dollars at gumroad emily stevens i will link it in the description box for you and you can find it in my instagram bio link and tiktok bio link it's reasonably priced and a lot of content creators sell their presets for a lot more money and i wanted to make mine really affordable for you guys so that no matter what age you are or when you want to start elevating your photos or adding a fun preset you can and you're not going to break the bank really excited to come out with more presets in the future but this is my first one that i've been using for a while and i love it it definitely has some orange tones that sometimes i have to tone down but i think it adds a really nice warm vibe and i love that so i think i'm going to lower the exposure on this a little bit and i think that makes it look so cute but my face looks a little orange so we're going to go into the color and lower the orange saturation just a tad so i love that also i put the smiley face in there because I want it to be a little yellow and that seems a little dim so we're gonna go to yellow and I think we can maybe make this a little bit brighter let's see oh not that JK it's literally just playing around like I am by no means a Lightroom expert oh that's cute okay perfect I love that edit actually that's really cute okay so let us share this to Fonto and then we will be able to add the text, which will be super cute. Um, yeah, all these apps are free, I believe. All right, I think this one is gonna say, let's go thrifting. I'm thinking it'll be on one side, and then in Fonto, you can like edit the text. So I add a little bit of a background, and then I add some shadow behind it, so it's like looks really enforced. And then you just play around with it. I'm gonna make the size bigger. Um, and then I'm going to add thrifting over here. Thrifting. Woo! Highly recommend you go thrifting because it's so much better than fast fashion, which I need to make a video about because I'm so passionate about that. But so one thing that I love to do is you can use a curve option and turn it a little bit. And that just, I just love it. I am going to play around with the text a little bit because I'm not happy with how this looks. So I'll keep you posted. Okay, I figured out what I wanted it to say. It looked a little weird with the thrifting. So I changed it to thrift vlog. And one thing I recommend, I like I said, I'm not an expert YouTuber, but I, I have learned the simpler the text is in the thumbnail, the easier it is to like understand and work with that kind of thing so i think this is so cute it's so like simplistic and i love it so now we're going to share it and then you can just i typically save the image and save the project because in fonto if you don't save the project it doesn't it like disappears so we're gonna save the project that way if i want to come back and fix it i can so yeah, that was my little how I edit my thumbnails, and I hope that that helped you. I know I say this a lot, but I really do love making videos for you guys, and I hope you liked this one. If you did, you should like this video, and what should you comment? You should comment the opening song in a movie about your life. So like, mine would probably be a Dancing Queen. <laughs> um, just something like that. Or just comment your favorite song if you don't know the opening. If you haven't thought about the opening title of your life movie, gosh, get on that. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Bye, Dynamos!